Hello children, welcome to my economics class. I am Suma from Commerce Department of Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. In today's session, we are going to learn the fourth lesson of Indian Economic Development. Under this, you have four units. This is the first lesson under third unit. The third unit is current challenges faced by Indian economy. So therefore, the under current challenges faced by Indian economy, there are six lessons in that first lesson is poverty. So now let's see what is poverty. Poverty is a situation where an individual person is unable to meet his basic needs like food, shelter and the clothing as well as health and education. This health and education is added in these days when the poverty line is redefined by government of India. So now let's see who is a poor. Poor person is a one who is unable to meet the basic needs like food, clothing and shelter as well as health and education. So now let's see about the types of poverty. There are two types of poverty, relative poverty and absolute poverty. Relative poverty is a situation wherein a person is considered as poor in compared to his area, his country, his uh, uh, area nature, his uh, company, uh, people among the, uh, the people who is working among uh, the same education class or same the category. So, if a person owns BMW car and if another person owns only ordinary simple car so this person is poor to the extent that he cannot own a BMW car. So relative poverty uh, hit person is not an absolute poverty person wherein absolute poverty situation is one wherein the individual person is unable to meet his basic needs like food, clothing and shelter as well as health and education. This poverty line is now defined by the government of India when the cut-off line is prescribed. <coughs> Based on that cut-off line, government of India decides the position of a economical position of a person based on either his income or his consumption level. So, this is the poverty situation na explain kadre, we consider it as either relatively poverty hit person or absolute poverty hit person. So, the area dali, namde locality ali, namde country then I am considered as poor to that extent but I am not absolutely poor that I am able to meet my basic needs but I am relatively poor to that person comparatively poor to that person that's it okay. So, government of India has decided two types of poor. It has divided the poor into two, uh, two categories. One is rural poor and the another one is urban poor. Who is a rural poor? Rural poor is a person, one who is unable to earn rupees 816 per month. One do thing like entnur hadinara rupees to sampadne maada the kya agde ironta gramina bhaga the vikti rural poor. Aderiti urban poor and re yari ge one thing they are called as urban poor as well as there is one more criteria that a rural person is considered as poor if he is unable to consume 2435 calories of food per day. One day they are consumed calories of food and are consumed by the Gramina Bhagada Vikti Gendra and rural poor wherein urban poor and re he is unable to consume 2,045 calories of food. Yaki illi variation idhe indre, rural persons are hard workers than the urban persons, urban people or urban population. So other than this, there is one type of poor called as chronic poor. Chronic poor is a person who did not make any attempt to come out of his poverty situation. Tatanakal dinda, appanakal dinda, maganakal akor beggars age idare. They did not improve their economic situation. They, they are unable to meet their basic needs like food, clothing and shelter. So hangagi, aurunna nao 
chronic poor anta heltivi by generation to generation they are staying in the below poverty line situation only so ee poverty line na government vand cut off line anta decide maduvaglene either a vyaktiya income vand area adha athwa vand region na income people the income athwa avara consumption level na basis mele decide madutte so now let's come to the another topic of the same lesson that is trends of poverty in india namma india dalli after independence namma poverty situation hegide anta nodrana we are going to see now in the year 1960 to 61 there were 70 crores of people in india who were poverty hit they are the poverty population over the total percentage of the population they were they constituted 34% 34% of the poor people were residing between the year 60 to 61 so in the year 64 to 65 it increased to 22 crores and percentage has also increased to 46 in the year 70 71 it is increasing to 25% 25 crores and 45 percentage here you can see a decline of 1 percentage this is because of the improvement of earnings in the uh, situation of indian population 79 to 80 32 crores of people were hit by poverty and 46% again it increased and in the year 186 to 18 1986 to 87 27 crores of people were hit by poverty and 34% of people were suffering from poverty in the year 1993 to 94 32 crore crores of people were poverty hit people as well as 36% so you can see there is a variation and gradually it is decreasing and decreasing but only in the year 2004 and 2005 37.2% of people were under poverty that is new poverty line was defined in the year 2004 and 5 the sarkara government of india hosadagi poverty line na redefine maadithu andre ee calories na salpa improve maadi innu change maadithu matte genra income level na basis maadi poverty line na redefine maadidaga matte nammalli 37.2% jana poverty hit people aadru yake ant heladre eshto jana middle class nalli iddavru sarkara poverty line na redefine maadidaga avru ಪುವರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಗೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ಅವರ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಆ ರೇಂಜ್ಗೆ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ದೇವರ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ದ ಪುವರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ದ ಪಾವರ್ಟಿ ಹಿಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಪಾವರ್ಟಿ and 2011 and 12 children as i said 2011 was a year of census and next census is going to be held in the year 2021 so 2011 matte 12 nalli nammalli 26.9393 people were poverty hit and the total percentage constituted to 21 point 9 so you can see gradual decrease in the percentage of poverty level but we did not eradicate poverty 100% because india is still a country of poor people and uno has warned us to have a control on the population so that we can improve our poverty situation we can improve our income level so poverty situation of different states namma india dalli yav yav states alli poverty situation hegide anta nodana so here uttar pradesh you know uttar pradesh is the largest densely populated state of our country because uttar pradesh is having the ganga basin river ganga basin and it is called as the food bowl of india and here only most of the people 80% of the people either directly or indirectly are involved with the agriculture but here only you can see 29% of the population of uttar pradesh is poverty hit because of unemployment as well as it is densely populated and more number of beggars are found in the state of uttar pradesh then we come to bihar which is the most backward state here we have 33.7% poverty hit people odisha again it is the 
poverty hit uh, it is the most backward state economically as well as climatically illiya jenrige yavaglu temperature vipreetha jaasti irodrinda alli agriculture possibilities illa employment athwa tertiary sector is also not active so they are constituting 32.6% of poverty hit people madhya pradesh is 31.7% punjab with 8.3% haryana is 11.2% and rajasthan is 14.7% you know rajasthan is the largest state area wise so therefore the number of population which are hit by poverty is also more so now let's see how poverty is increasing see when the population was only 1000 we had 10% of people with poverty that is only 100 persons were poverty hit when the population has increased to 2000 7% of people are hit by poverty that is 140 so here because the population has increased from 1000 to 2000 you can see 40 people are more added to the poverty so the poverty situation here the urban poor or the number of rural poor is more than the urban poor why means people from rural areas are migrating to cities in search of jobs but they are not getting jobs and therefore the rural uh, poor who are landless farmers or who are working as tenants for with some zamindars they are still poor <coughs> wherein when you come to the urban areas here the people migrate from one place to another place one city to another city in search of job and in this case urban poor are also so more so now let's see about the causes for poverty so the causes for poverty has been uh, uh, classified into two that is under development of indian economy and unequal distribution of income these are the two major categories under which we can find the different causes for poverty so under the first category under development of indian economic situation you can find lots of reasons lots of causes for poverty that is stagnation of economy the low level of income in the agricultural area and india is declared as poorest country through uno therefore only uno has said us and even the world bank as well as the imf has said us to go for self employment and you have to open up your economy and like that only we accepted the liberalization privatization as well as globalization so low growth rate because of the lack of investment in industries then heavy pressure on population everybody in india has a blind faith that they should have one son so that they will get moksha for that they go on having for five to six or seven eight girls so this uh, the, uh, this is one among the causes for the increase of population as well as we have lots of blind faiths and different communities different religions say that they have to increase their population so that their god is going to bestow them so these are all different causes for the increase of population and then inflationary spiral there is every time the inflation rate because there is an imbalance between the demand and supply equilibrium of the products in the market and therefore every time if we carry a big bag with heavy amount of money we come with a lots of lesser products because the inflation rate is high like that and then the chronic unemployment and underemployment unemployment situation is one where that person is capable to work but he is not finding an opportunity to work wherein underemployment is a situation where that person is finding only part time job and again the rest of the period of the day he is in search of a job and he is not getting his minimum needs satisfied so therefore even the situation nalli namge poverty annodu day by day ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಪಾವರ್ಟಿಯನ್ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಬೇಕಾದಷ್ಟು ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ನ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರು ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನು ಇಂಡಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾವರ್ಟಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ರಿಮೂವಲ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪಾವರ್ಟಿ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಡಿಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಜರ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ನ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಮೇಜರ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀನ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗದೇ ಇರೋ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಉದ್ಯೋಗಗಳು ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್
education and again here in india we are having outdated social practices with blind faiths mooda nambikegalu jaasti nammalli vipreetha habbagalu aacharanegalu idella irodrinda nammalli productivity kadime irodrinda now poverty alle idivi and again the last cause is lack of infrastructure namge infrastructure facility illa energy supply proper agilla transportation illa communication illa and therefore no establishment of industries and therefore the situation of poverty is existing we'll come to the second category of the causes for poverty wherein unequal distribution of income elli nammalli ondu samanavada aadaya da vitarane illa idu for example in india 1536 companies are owned by 75 major families what's happening they are having nepotism they are giving job to the people who are in the their vicinity only and rest of the other companies are not providing job to the rest of the population and we are having the unequal distribution of income the gap between rich is increasing rich and poor is increasing day by day rich is becoming rich day by day and poor is becoming poor day by day and the rich is having more means to earn and more means to satisfy their demand where the poor people are not having the uh, basic uh, needs also met with them they are struggling to meet the basic needs so all these are causes causes for the increase of poverty situation so to reduce this poverty situation india is trying through four strategies that is through the increase of gdp through improving the distribution of income through the population control and through enhancing quality of the life of the people so in our next session let's see the measures taken by the government to eradicate poverty and to improve the economic situation of our country thank you children